Dear listeners, tonight I beckon you to step into a realm of dreams where the whispers of the past echo through the ages and every shadow holds a secret. Relax, close your eyes, and let the story whisk you away to the mystical witch's cottage of Salem, where the air is thick with ancient magic and the very walls breathe tales of wisdom, courage, and sacrifice. Prepare to be enchanted as we journey together through a world of wonder and timeless legends, uncovering the hidden truths and enduring legacy of those who practiced the natural arts long ago. The Witch's Trial of Salem Unraveling Salem's Dark Secrets Laura stood at the edge of her new property in Salem, her breath visible in the crisp autumn air. The move from bustling Boston to this quiet historical town had been a significant change, but one she felt was necessary. Laura had always been driven, a trait that served her well in her career as a lawyer. Yet despite her professional success, she felt an unyielding emptiness, a gap in her personal history that her grandmother's cryptic stories only deepened. Her grandmother, Agnes, had been the keeper of the family's lore. Whenever Laura visited as a child, Agnes would weave tales of their ancestors, painting them as enigmatic figures who had lived through tumultuous times. These stories were laced with mentions of witch trials, hidden legacies and whispered secrets. Agnes's eyes would light up with a mix of pride and sorrow as she spoke, but she never provided concrete details leaving Laura to speculate about the truth. The decision to move to Salem was not made lightly. Laura had spent countless nights poring over genealogy websites, piecing together fragments of her family tree. Each new discovery hinted at a more profound mystery. Her legal career, which had initially seemed so fulfilling, began to feel less important compared to the tantalizing clues about her ancestry. When her grandmother passed away, leaving behind a modest inheritance and a collection of cryptic journals, Laura knew it was time to act. Salem, with its quaint charm and dark history, seemed the perfect place to uncover the truths buried in her family's past. She purchased a historic house on the outskirts of town, a property that seemed to call out to her with its old-world allure and potential for secrets. The house, with its creaky floors and dusty corners, felt like stepping back in time. It was exactly what Laura needed. Shortly after settling in, Laura began her exploration of the house. The attic, with its cobwebs and forgotten relics, drew her like a magnet. She spent hours sifting through old trunks and boxes, her anticipation growing with each uncovered item. One particularly stormy afternoon, as rain battered the roof and thunder rolled in the distance, Laura discovered a heavy wooden chest hidden beneath a pile of moth-eaten blankets. The chest was locked, but years of courtroom battles had taught Laura patience and persistence. After some effort, the lock yielded, revealing a treasure trove of old letters and documents. Laura's hands trembled with excitement as she carefully lifted each piece, the musty scent of aged paper filling the air. The letters were fragile, their edges frayed and ink faded, but they were legible. They spoke of distant relatives, events that took place centuries ago, and most intriguingly, 
the Salem Witch Trials. One letter, dated 1692, mentioned an ancestor named Eliza. The writer described Eliza as a woman of strong will and mysterious abilities, someone who had been deeply involved in the events of that dark period in history. Laura's heart raced as she read on, the letter hinting at secret meetings and hidden knowledge passed down through generations. Another document, an old family tree, showed connections to several individuals accused of witchcraft during the trials. These discoveries ignited a fire within Laura. Her curiosity, already smoldering, now blazed brightly. She spent days in the attic, reading and rereading the documents, trying to piece together the fragmented history of her family. Each new clue was a revelation, bringing her closer to understanding her roots. Laura felt a profound connection to these ancestors, especially to Eliza, whose strength and resilience shone through the words on the page. The documents also contained references to locations in Salem that were significant to her family's history. There were mentions of old meeting places, cryptic symbols etched into gravestones, and hints of an underground network that had helped protect those accused of witchcraft. Laura realized that her family had played a far more substantial role in the witch trials than she had ever imagined. Driven by a newfound purpose, Laura decided to embark on a quest to uncover her family's hidden legacy fully. She began by visiting local archives and libraries, seeking out any records that might shed further light on the names and events mentioned in the letters. She also reached out to historians and local experts, hoping to learn more about the period and the people involved. The more she learned, the more convinced she became that her family's story needed to be told. Not just for her own sake, but for the sake of those who had suffered injustices during the trials. Laura's legal background gave her the tools she needed to sift through historical records and piece together the truth. She knew it would be a challenging journey, but she was ready for it. Laura's move to Salem was more than a change of scenery. It was the beginning of a journey into the past, a quest to uncover the mysteries of her heritage. With each new discovery, she felt a deeper connection to her ancestors and a stronger sense of purpose. Guided by the letters and her legal instincts, Laura ventured into the historic cemeteries of Salem. Her research had pointed her towards these ancient burial grounds, and her grandmother's documents hinted at hidden secrets buried beneath the centuries-old headstones. The cemeteries of Salem, shrouded in mist and history, became her new courtroom where she sought to unearth the truth of her ancestors. On her first visit, Laura walked through the cemetery with a sense of reverence and purpose. The fog rolled in thick waves, curling around the gravestones like ghostly fingers. As she wandered, she noticed that certain gravestones bore unusual symbols. These were not the typical religious or ornamental carvings, but intricate designs that seemed to hold deeper meanings. The symbols matched those described in her ancestors' documents, sparking a sense of recognition and excitement within her. Laura meticulously documented each symbol, cross-referencing them with the notes she had brought along. The carvings depicted various motifs, 
pentagrams, alchemical symbols, and arcane sigils, she realized that these markers were likely left by those who had been involved in or connected to the Salem witch trials. The symbols seemed to form a network of clues, guiding her to something hidden, something significant. One foggy evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and shadows lengthened, Laura stumbled upon an old, overgrown entrance partially concealed by ivy and fallen leaves. Her heart raced as she pulled back the foliage, revealing a stone door with more of the peculiar symbols etched into its surface. The door led to an underground crypt, its entrance obscured by years of neglect and nature's reclaiming grasp. With a mixture of trepidation and determination, Laura pushed open the heavy door, which groaned in protest. The air inside was cool and damp, carrying the scent of earth and history. She clicked on her flashlight, the beam cutting through the darkness to reveal a narrow staircase descending into the depths. Each step echoed in the confined space amplifying her anticipation. At the bottom of the stairs, Laura found herself in a hidden chamber. The walls were lined with shelves, each crammed with artifacts and scrolls. Dust motes danced in the flashlight's beam, adding to the surreal atmosphere. Laura's breath caught as she took in the sight of ancient relics that had lain undisturbed for generations. Here were the tangible pieces of her ancestors' lives, preserved and waiting to tell their stories. She carefully picked up a scroll, its parchment fragile with age. Unfurling it, she saw detailed accounts of the lives and trials of the accused witches. Each document was a testament to the hardships they had endured, their resilience and their attempts to protect their knowledge from those who sought to destroy them. The names on the scrolls matched those in her grandmother's letters, creating a bridge between the past and the present. Among the relics, one item stood out, a pendant. It was unlike anything she had seen before, a small, intricately designed piece that seemed to resonate with a strange energy. The pendant, made of an unfamiliar metal, was adorned with the same symbols she had seen on the gravestones. As she held it, a warmth spread through her hand, a palpable connection to her ancestors. Laura realized this pendant was more than a piece of jewelry. It was a key to understanding the occult heritage passed down through her family. The pendant seemed to pulse with life, its energy aligning with something deep within Laura. She felt a sense of belonging, as if she had been chosen to uncover and continue the legacy of those who had come before her. The discovery of the crypt and its contents was a pivotal moment, reaffirming her commitment to her quest. Laura spent hours in the crypt, carefully cataloguing each artifact and document. She took photographs and made detailed notes, ensuring she had a record of everything she found. The scrolls revealed not only the personal stories of the accused witches, but also their practices and the knowledge they had sought to preserve. The artifacts ranged from everyday items to ritualistic tools, each telling a part of the story that history books had overlooked or intentionally erased. As the night wore on, Laura felt a profound connection to her ancestors. The hidden chamber was not just a place of death and remembrance, it was a sanctuary of wisdom and resilience. She knew that these discoveries were just the beginning. The pendant, 
with its enigmatic energy, felt like a beacon guiding her towards further revelations. Emerging from the crypt, Laura felt a renewed sense of purpose. The fog had lifted slightly, revealing the moonlit cemetery in a serene, almost ethereal light. She closed the door to the crypt, ensuring it was hidden once more, and made her way back to her car. The artifacts and documents she had discovered were safely stored in her bag, their secrets waiting to be fully unveiled. Laura drove home, her mind racing with thoughts of what she had uncovered. The symbols, the pendant, the scrolls, they were all pieces of a larger puzzle. Her legal instincts told her there was still much to uncover, much to understand. But she felt confident she was on the right path. Her ancestors' legacy was within reach, and she was determined to bring their stories to light, honouring their memory and ensuring their experiences were never forgotten. As she pulled into her driveway, Laura looked at her new home in Salem with fresh eyes. It was no longer just a house. It was a gateway to the past, a link to her heritage. She felt a deep sense of gratitude and responsibility, knowing that she had been entrusted with a significant task. With each discovery, she was not only piecing together her family's history, but also contributing to the broader narrative of those who had been wronged during the Salem witch trials. Laura discovered a wealth of personal anecdotes and diaries from her ancestors as she dug deeper into the crypt's mysteries. Every diary served as a historical window, providing an intimate look into the lives of those who had experienced the Salem witch trials. The voices of individuals long silenced by history were included in these records, some of which were faded and hardly readable. Laura spent countless hours in the hidden crypt, meticulously reading and transcribing the diaries. By the flickering light of her flashlight, she uncovered the personal stories of the women accused of witchcraft. Each account revealed a pattern of fear superstition and paranoia that had gripped Salem during the trials. The diaries spoke of false accusations, betrayals by neighbors, and the harrowing experiences of being imprisoned and tried for witchcraft. One diary, written by her ancestor Eliza, captivated Laura the most. Eliza's entries were filled with detailed descriptions of her life, her abilities, and her efforts to protect those targeted by the witch hunts. Eliza was not only a skilled healer, but also a woman of immense courage. Her writings revealed that she had used her powers to shield others from persecution, often at great personal risk. Laura learned that Eliza had created a network of safe houses and hiding places for the accused witches. She had also used her knowledge of herbs and potions to heal the sick and provide comfort to those in distress. Eliza's efforts were not limited to her immediate community. She had reached out to other towns and villages offering her help wherever it was needed. Her actions were a testament to her strength and compassion. As Laura read on, she discovered shocking truths about the trials. Many of the accused had been innocent, targeted simply because they were different or because they possessed knowledge that others did not understand. <laughs>
The more Laura read, the more she realized the extent of the injustice that had been perpetrated against these women. The diaries also revealed the struggles faced by Eliza and her allies as they tried to navigate a world steeped in ignorance and fear. They had to be constantly vigilant, as any misstep could lead to their own accusations and trials. Eliza's writings were filled with accounts of narrow escapes, coded messages, and secret meetings held under the cover of darkness. It was clear that she had lived in constant danger, yet she had never wavered in her commitment to helping others. Laura felt a profound connection to Eliza as she uncovered these stories, she could sense the strength and resilience that had driven her ancestor to fight against such overwhelming odds. Laura also felt a growing sense of responsibility to clear the names of those who had been wronged. She knew that she had a unique opportunity to bring these stories to light and to honor the memory of the women who had suffered so unjustly. One particularly poignant diary entry described Eliza's feelings of isolation and fear as the trials intensified. She wrote about the pain of seeing friends and loved ones taken away, knowing that there was little she could do to stop it. Yet despite her fear, Eliza continued to use her powers to protect and heal, driven by a deep sense of duty and compassion. Laura was moved by her ancestors' unwavering courage and determination. Another diary contained letters exchanged between Eliza and other members of her network. These letters detailed the strategies they used to protect themselves and others, including the use of coded language and secret symbols. Laura was amazed by the ingenuity and resourcefulness of these women, who had found ways to resist and survive in a hostile environment. As Laura pieced together the stories from the diaries, she began to see a clearer picture of her family's role in the witch trials. They had not been passive victims, but active resistors, working tirelessly to protect their community. This realization filled Laura with pride and a renewed sense of purpose. She knew that she had to continue their legacy by uncovering the full truth and sharing it with the world. The more Laura read, the more she understood the importance of her discovery. These diaries were not just historical artifacts, they were powerful testimonies to the resilience and strength of the human spirit. They told the story of a community that had been torn apart by fear and ignorance, but also of individuals who had fought back with courage and compassion. Laura was incredibly appreciative of the chance to gain such intimate and meaningful knowledge about her ancestors. She was aware of her duty to preserve their legacy and make sure their tales were never forgotten. She became closer to Eliza and more committed to bringing justice to those who had been wronged with every new discovery. As Laura closed the last diary and carefully packed away the documents, she felt a renewed sense of purpose. With Eliza's spirit guiding her, Laura was determined to uncover the full truth about the witch trials and to share it with the world. The hidden legacy of her family was a story of courage, resilience and hope and Laura was committed to telling it in its entirety. Armed with her newfound knowledge, Laura decided to use her legal expertise to bring these revelations to light. 
The diary's personal accounts and artifacts she had uncovered painted a vivid picture of the injustices faced by her ancestors and others during the Salem witch trials. Laura felt a profound responsibility to ensure that these stories were not only told, but recognized and honored. She knew that her skills as a lawyer could be instrumental in this endeavor. Laura began by compiling a comprehensive report. She meticulously organized the documents and artifacts, creating a detailed narrative that highlighted the systemic injustices and wrongful accusations that had defined the witch trials. Each piece of evidence was carefully catalogued, with cross-references to historical records and legal precedents. Laura's report included personal testimonies from the diaries, descriptions of the symbols she had found, and the significance of the pendant that seemed to carry the essence of her family's legacy. Understanding the importance of credibility, Laura reached out to historians and legal scholars for support. She presented her findings to Dr. Evelyn Carter, a renowned historian specializing in the Salem witch trials. Dr. Carter was initially skeptical, but as Laura laid out her evidence, the historian's interest grew. The personal accounts provided a unique and compelling perspective that had been missing from the historical narrative. Together, they worked to validate the findings. Dr. Carter helped Laura cross-check the dates and names with existing records, while legal scholars analyzed the implications of the documented injustices their collaboration lent academic weight to Laura's report, transforming it from a personal project into a scholarly work with the potential to impact historical understanding and legal precedent. With the report finalized, Laura and her team presented their findings to the Salem Historical Society. The presentation was held in a large, historic hall, its walls adorned with portraits and artifacts from Salem's past. The room was filled with local residents, historians, and members of the media, all curious to hear what Laura had uncovered. Laura stood at the podium, her heart pounding. She began by sharing her personal journey explaining how she had uncovered the hidden legacy of her ancestors. She then delved into the details of her findings, presenting the evidence with the precision and clarity of a seasoned lawyer. As she spoke, the audience was visibly moved. The personal accounts brought the past to life, making the injustices of the witch trials painfully real. The response was overwhelming. The Salem Historical Society recognized the significance of Laura's work and agreed to support her campaign for the recognition of the injustices suffered by the accused witches. The Society's endorsement was a crucial step, providing the official backing needed to advance her cause. Laura's efforts led to a renewed interest in the true history of the Salem witch trials. Local and national media picked up the story, highlighting the previously untold narratives and the personal bravery of those who had been wrongfully accused. Articles and documentaries began to explore the broader implications of Laura's findings, sparking debates about historical justice and the importance of acknowledging past wrongs. Inspired by Laura's work, the town of Salem took steps to honor the memory of those who had been wronged. A memorial was erected in the town square, 
featuring the names of the accused witches and excerpts from their diaries. The memorial served as a place of reflection and remembrance, a physical acknowledgement of the pain and suffering endured by those who had been unjustly persecuted. Educational programs were developed to teach the true history of the Salem witch trials in local schools. These programs included visits to the memorial and the historical society where students could learn about the trials through the personal accounts Laura had uncovered. The aim was to ensure that future generations understood the importance of tolerance and the dangers of superstition and fear. Laura's work not only brought justice to her ancestors, but also helped to heal a community still haunted by its past. The recognition of the injustices suffered by the accused witches allowed Salem to confront a dark chapter in its history with honesty and compassion. The town began to embrace a more nuanced understanding of its past, one that acknowledged the mistakes and celebrated the resilience of those who had resisted persecution. Laura felt a deep sense of fulfillment. She had set out to uncover her family's history and had ended up making a significant contribution to the broader understanding of the Salem witch trials. Her journey had been challenging, filled with moments of doubt and difficulty, but it had ultimately led to a meaningful and lasting impact. As she stood by the newly erected memorial, Laura felt a profound connection to her ancestors and a renewed sense of purpose. The whispers of the past had guided her to uncover the truth, and in doing so, she had helped to rewrite history. The witch's cottage of Salem was no longer just a relic of the past. It was a testament to the enduring power of truth and the importance of honouring those who had suffered injustices. Laura knew that her journey was far from over, but she was ready to face whatever came next, armed with the knowledge that she had made a difference. Dear listeners, may your dreams be filled with the mysteries of the past and the courage to uncover hidden truths. Sleep peacefully tonight, and let the whispers of history guide your slumber. Until we meet again for another enchanting journey into the unknown, good night and sweet dreams.